Oh, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Everyone wants to lose some amount of weight. Well, mostly everyone. And chances are you've tried your hand on different weight loss methods and a good amount of you have found results, but the overwhelming majority unfortunately haven't. From trying diets such as low carb, no carb, no fat, high fat, high protein, paleo, zone, keto, Atkins, and even if it fits your macros, to eating two meals a day, three meals a day, six meals, 10 meals, one meal, not eating at night, not eating in the morning, or eating only at a certain time. Fact is, you've probably exhausted your mind from just choosing a diet and exhausted your body from actually trying it. And here you are, still the same old you, no weight loss, and be honest, you probably even gained a few extra pounds. So what's the deal? Well, even if I told you that it's as simple as calories in versus calories out, aka eat less and move more, whether you trust me or not, there are many mistakes you're probably making when trying to lose weight. And if you wanted to make sure the next time you go on a weight loss plan, say like right now, it's best to avoid making these five common weight loss mistakes. Number one, underestimating how much you eat. Aunt Jay swears that she's been eating only 1,000 calories a day max, but for some reason she's still not losing weight. So what gives? Thing is, Aunt Jay is a liar. And it's no fault of her own other than basic human intuition. Thing is, people commonly underestimate the amount of calories they really eat. A study found that people underreported the amount of calories they consume by as much as 50%. Aunt Jay says she's eating 1,000 calories, but it's probably closer to 2,000. So your best bet is to count your calories. But let's face it, it's not fun having to read each nutrition label and measuring your food. You're better off using a calorie counting app or website that will help you do it. Granted, it's not always accurate, but much better than having to do it alone. Number two, feeling obligated to finish your plate. If you're anything like myself and don't like to waste food, you're gonna finish everything on your plate. After all, you work hard to put food on that plate. The last thing you wanna do is throw it away, almost like throwing away money. And if you're more like me, usually there's maybe a bite or two left or a single chicken wing or pizza slice. So you irrationally tell yourself, might as well just eat it. And this happens a lot, like every day, no matter how gut-bustingly full you are. And it also means bye-bye to weight loss goals. So to fix this, you either stop eating when you're satisfied or, bear with me here, buy smaller plates. Sounds silly, but it works. In fact, there's a whole Wikipedia page called the Smaller Plate Study, where it was shown that using 10 inch diameter plates instead of 12 inches decreased the amount of food people ate without affecting fullness or satisfaction. Pretty darn cool. Number three, doing long, tedious exercises. Cardio and weight loss, they usually go hand in hand, but should they really? Cardio, short for cardiovascular exercises, initially was used to promote a healthy heart, but with the rise of aerobics, it became the standard method in weight loss. However, it takes forever to actually do. Today's world, time is money, so spending an hour to burn three to 400 calories is just not worth your time. And steady state cardio, such as jogging on a treadmill, is super tedious, repetitive, and it's just not fun. Uh, for most, which means many people will eventually quit. So instead of boring yourself with grueling long-winded cardio, you can try something known as high-intensity interval training. Not only does it burn calories and even promote muscle building, it does it in half the time as traditional cardio will take. Come learn more about it in this video here. Number four, expecting results too quickly. You can thank the media for this one. With so many so-called fitness companies and self-proclaimed fitness gurus, all promising that you can lose something like 20 pounds in 20 days, there's no doubt that people will begin to believe that it can actually be done. Well, honestly, it can be done, but at the cost of your overall health by restricting nutrients that your body needs. Also, when losing weight so drastically, your body goes into survival mode and fights to keep every single fat molecule it can, making it harder to burn fat. On top of this, a study found that in the popular television competition show, The Biggest Loser, where contestants compete to lose the most weight in a small amount of time, many of the contestants ended up regaining all the weight they lost, with some even gaining more. This was due to their basal metabolic rate completely crashing. Your best bet is to shoot for roughly 1 to 2 pounds a week, or about 10% of your starting weight in 6 months. Number five, changing too many things at once. 
Wanting to lose weight is usually followed by a sudden spark of motivation to change your habits. And a lot of times, people want to change multiple habits all at once. And when they try to do it, they end up failing all at once. Losing weight itself is a multiple habit changing process. Eating less is a habit, exercising more is a habit, drinking more water is a habit, heck, even counting your calories is a habit. When you try to do all of this at once, it gets pretty difficult to follow through. You're better off just going after one at a time. So whether it's eating more chicken or waking up early to work out, stick with one until it becomes a solid habit. And remember, people are different. Some habits are easier to change than others and some just won't change. Try changing different habits until you find the ones you know you can do. Now there you have it, 5 mistakes that you can work on improving and hopefully help you with your weight loss goals. Please share some of the weight loss mistakes you might have made in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.